I have a lot of Geiger counters, and this is just some of them. I was recommended to show off some of my radioactive sources with these Geiger counters. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, here's how we're going to play this game. We're going to start with some lower activity sources and work our way up to some higher activity sources. So the first thing that I want to look at here is this piece of uranium glass. And yes, this is what you think. This is glass that is infused with uranium. This is obviously a very old product and it's no longer made. And one interesting property of it is that it's fluorescent. So this right here is a Ludlum Model 14C with a Model 44-9, and I'm just going to hold up the probe to the uranium glass. So that's about maybe 500 counts per minute. Uranium glass is actually easy to find. It can be bought in places like antique stores. Now I do have two other detectors here, but considering that they don't detect alpha, the content of the uranium in this uranium glass is so low, and uranium is primarily an alpha emitter, these detectors won't really pick it up. So I didn't see the point in trying to detect it. Okay, now here's something that I can feel confident that all of these detectors will respond to, and that's because this is a piece of uranium, which is actually, of course, the same material in here, except it's much more concentrated here. This is actually what pure metallic uranium looks like, and this is actually also fairly easy to get. You can buy this off of United Nuclear. I paid something like $50 for this, I think. It's about 4,000 counts per minute compared to background, which is around 400 to 600 counts per minute, typically. Unfortunately, there's no way to acknowledge the alarm on this detector besides to just go in and actually turn the alarm off. There is no, like, uh, acknowledge it. So I'm just going to go ahead and power this thing off, and we're going to call that 200 counts per minute. So we're off scale, so we're going to go ahead and go up one range here. It's about 1,000 counts per minute. Now this right here is an Amory CM241 source, and as you may or may not know, it's also available to everybody. It's in smoke detectors. Out of all of the stuff that I've actually like brought up here, this is probably the highest we're gonna push the radio code. So you can see it doesn't really look like much until I turn this around. Let's get that source right on there. I went up to like 30,000 there. So this right here is a uranium ore called Toronite. So 300. So this right here is a mineral called T unite. Tiaumin. Let's just call it Tiaumianite.
Now here is my most monstrous piece of uranium ore that I own. It's a piece of oddnut. You can see it didn't have a good history. Here we're just gonna start down on a times ten range because there's no, there's not even a point in going on the others. Here is a piece of uranophane, which is another uranium ore. I'm also starting out in the times 10 range here. So it's about 20,000 counts per minute. Well, I think that about wraps it up for a video on some of my most interesting radioactive sources. Would you like to see a video on all of them? Let me know in the comments down below. See you soon.